an elephant was found in critical condition due to puncturing injuries sustained on its front leg. As soon as they got the message regarding the distressed elephant, a team led by a veterinary surgeon, wildlife officers were sent to the location along with several villagers. The officials prepared some medicines in advance before entering the forest. The elephant was found laying with pain inside the thick forest. It was difficult to carry out the inspection and treatment because of the location that the elephant was lying. One officer gently put a rope around the rear leg of the elephant to pull the elephant slightly to ease the inspection process. Meanwhile, others started slashing the bushes that obstructed the way to reach the elephant. Veterinary workers began the inspection process. They had the suspicion that whether the mouth area of the elephant had been injured with a jaw-exploding trap. After several minutes of inspection, they confirmed that this was not the case. There wasn't any injury found in the jaw area. The puncturing wounds in the front leg caused this much suffering to the poor elephant. The infection through the wounds had led to severe weakening in the elephant's body. The wounded area was cleaned using cotton swabs and disinfectants. There were penetrating wounds in the front leg, which appeared to be infected. It is suspected that these puncture wounds have been caused by gunshots. As the elephant is severely weakened, they decided to give saline to the elephant prior to the treatment of the wounds. The ear area was thoroughly disinfected to avoid any infection to the injection sites. The saline is given intravenously to expedite the incorporation with the bloodstream. Antiseptic condition should be strictly maintained for IV procedures. After connecting the saline to the ear veins, they started treating the injuries. The wounded area has to be cleaned thoroughly. A syringe filled with hydrogen peroxide used to disinfect the wound. Hydrogen peroxide was dripped into the wound holes using the syringe. The wounds were thoroughly flushed with hydrogen peroxide and checked for any remnants of bullet particles.
After disinfecting and cleaning, the wounds were dressed with gentian violet ointment. Painkillers, vitamin boost, and anti-inflammatory drugs were mixed with a saline solution. Antibiotics were administered intramuscularly to boost the immune system of the elephant. It will be helpful to expedite the natural healing of wounds and given protection against further infection. Within about two hours, the elephant showed signs of regaining consciousness. The officers and villagers quickly moved away considering their safety because there's a possibility to be assailed by the elephant as they are not docile towards humans. The elephant woke up, staggered unsteadily, and walked off in the direction of the forest. The veterinary surgeon said that this elephant will need several days of treatment continuously.